You know, in the offseason, the Jets, they turned over their coaching staff in hopes of upgrading the pass rush. Now, Rex brought in Carl Dunbar from Minnesota to oversee his defensive line. Now, you can't miss Coach Dunbar because he has that skin disease, Vinilago. But once you spend some quality time with him, you quickly realize how he has turned that Vikings front four into one of the most feared pass rushers in the league. And his goal is to do the same thing here with the Jets. So here's Coach Dunbar, Mike Dub. Hey, let's go, let's go get on the sled. Hit! Reese! Hit! There you go, there you go. We should be able to get that guy dang on dummy up now. I'm a fun-loving guy, but when the um, lights come on and you're in between the white lines, it, it, it's time to hunt. Give him a little distance to come off the bat. What you do on contact? Drive, Drive your feet. Do not tackle to the guy, tackle through the man. Tackle through him. Let's go. The more you bleed during wartime, the less you bleed during peacetime. So I really do believe in practicing hard because the game is so much easier than practice. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. There you go, pick up those feet. There you go, MTV. I think this year we're trying to say, hey, we need two sacks from the D-line every game. And you get two sacks from the D-line every game, that's 32 sacks at the end of the season. So you got to shuffle those feet to get off, right, because you're pressing a little bit. Say it. Hit. Three. There you go, there you go, you gotta move those feet now. If you're on the field, you gotta be able to take advantage of the opportunities you get. And um, I think that's the thing, when you incorporate guys and make it their own, I think they buy into it. Hey, let's go over there to the shoot. As I tell my guys all the time, it's certain things I earned, and I think I earned the right to be a coach. So when we're here on the field, they call me coach. Now if they see me somewhere else, they can call me Carl or Dunbar or whatever. But I like to be addressed as coach because I'm a ball coach, and I love that. There you go. There you go. There you go. Great job. You know, when I look in the mirror, I, I really don't get into the skin discoloration or anything. I just see Carl Dunbar. And this just didn't start happening to me till I was maybe 11, 12 years old. I got one little spot here that I got one over my eye. And, you know, kids can be cruel. I knew when I went home... My mom loved me, my, my dad loved me, the people who were kin to me loved me. Yeah, people that didn't know me ragged on me, and if they got close enough, they might have got hit in the mouth. But I think I always felt good about Carl Dunbar. Squeeze him down, you got this A gap or this B gap, and wait on him. If he throws the ball, you guys get your hands up, you guys do what? Keep coming, because if he pulls it down, you might get the sack, let's go. Like some people say, um, guys are born with instincts. I don't think you're born with anything. I think everything you learn, all the instincts you have, you learn from other people or from watching TV or just seeing it. Because we don't come out the womb being a great football player. And I didn't come out the womb loving myself. I learned to love myself because of the people I had around me.